Hello and welcome to my image recognition and image manipulation tutorial series. This series is just going to be a simple introduction to the field and the procedures used in those two things. Initially it was mostly just for image recognition but then some of the stuff that we we're doing in these earlier videos uh, you would also do if you wanted to do image manipulation. So image recognition obviously uh, if you use like a screen reader like an OCR so an optical character recognition uh, program um, they would use some image recognition for each character uh, and there's also a whole bunch of like facial recognition and stuff that you would use image recognition for and then as far as image manipulation uh, if you think about like automatic image enhancers they're basically doing this right um, so that, that kind of stuff will be uh, covered here obviously we won't be doing facial recognition or image uh, automatic image enhancements uh, right out of the gate but we will cover a lot of the basics for the procedures so, uh, to start the series, you're going to need five things. The first thing we're going to get is this uh, zip file with a bunch of images in it that we can use, uh, that I'll be using throughout this series. Uh, Centex is my website, so you just go to centex.com slash and then tutorialimages.zip, one word. Hit enter, and you should download this tutorialimages.zip file. And I'll just bring it up, show you what it is. In, inside, you have a file or a folder called images extract this to wherever you'll be writing this script uh, we'll get back to that in a little bit and then inside images you've got numbers and then you've got some other images one's just a single dot another one's got a dot and another dot this is my logo and then within numbers we've got a bunch of numbers and then an example of each so like these are all zeros these are all ones these are all twos and so on so we'll get to those uh, in a little bit but that's that's what's in the file um, now the next thing that we're going to need is Python. We're going to be using the programming language of Python to do all of this. Python's very uh, newbie friendly. The syntax for programming in Python is very simple. There's uh, not too much. You don't have to worry about brackets and all this kind of stuff. And the indentation's automatic. It's just very friendly language yet very, very powerful for data analysis. So that's what I recommend you get. It's definitely a good programming language to learn if you don't already know it. I imagine a lot of people watching these uh, have seen my other videos and probably already have Python. But if you don't, go to download and what we want is down, uh, Python 2.7.5. Uh, don't download Python 3, get 2.7 and download you know whatever operating system you have. It's just going to vary. If you do have Windows, I highly suggest you get the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit version of Windows. Subsequently, the next three things we need are NumPy, Matplotlib, and PIL. And PIL stands for Python Imaging Library. Now if you've downloaded anything like SciPy, for example, a lot of times SciPy will come like bundled with all of this stuff. So you might already have some of this stuff. Um, so just try to do import uh, NumPy, import Matplotlib, import PIL, and see if you can. Now, uh, if you have a 64-bit version of Python, you can't use PIL. Uh, you'll be using Pillow. And that's actually what I'll be using throughout this series. And since I recommend that everyone gets 64-bit, if you're on Windows, I highly suggest you get 64-bit and don't worry about not being able to get PIL. Um, otherwise, uh, ever, all the downloads will be here. Uh, I use this website, LFD, uh, whatever. So let me copy and copy this real quick. And if you come up here, it's basically a bunch of these Windows binaries for Python, and they're just like straight installers. Instead of having to use setup.exe, or no, I'm sorry, not setup.py, so like setup tools or pip install and all that. So again, very noob friendly to come here and you just download uh, the installer. So, like, for example, with Pillow, I'll put all these links in the description, but if you use my link, it should take you all the way down here. You would download whatever version uh, you need if you're on Windows. Now, obviously, if you're on, uh, like, Linux or something like that, then you'll need to just find a Pillow install and install. Um, installing stuff on uh, Linux is pretty simple, so, <laughs> so you don't even need this. But anyway, same thing with NumPy. If you're on Windows, download the NumPy version, and then a matplotlib, download the version that you need. Again, if you have 64-bit, um, make sure you get all the 64-bit. If you're on 32-bit, make sure the installer you download is the Win32, and so on. So once you have all five of those things, let's go ahead and make sure we have all five of those things before moving on. One, check to make sure you got that download, the tutorialimages.zip download. 
two, make sure you've got Python and you installed it. So if you did, you should be able to go uh, to your start bar if you're on Windows and type in Python. And you should be able to get something called Python and then in parentheses it'll say command line. Pull that up, drag that over, and it probably will be black with white text, but it'll look something like this. And if you ever, if you don't know what bit version you downloaded, you can scroll over here and it should say like right here, like what bit version you have. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do to make sure that we got everything downloaded and installed correctly, you're going to want to import each of the things. So if you are, um, if you installed NumPy, you should be able to go import NumPy without any errors. Now an error is going to look like this. So let's say we actually spell NumPy right, but we get this error, no module. That means it something went wrong in the installation. Usually the issue that uh, my viewers have is they just downloaded the wrong uh, bit version. So that's pretty much it. But anyway, moving on, import matplotlib, no error. And you should finally uh, be able to import... Well, if you, if you have a 32-bit version of Python, then the, you will be importing PIL. And I happen to have PIL, but actually for this tutorial, we're not going to be using PIL. Well, depending on what you have, anyway. Um, if you had PIL, you would just do import image like that. But if you downloaded Pillow, you will do just import PIL, but we'll get to that in just a second. But as long as you could do, um, if you have, okay, let me let me say it one more time before we go on. If you have 32-bit um, version of Python, make sure you can do import capital I-M-A-G-E. And if you have a 64-bit version of Python, make sure you can download or import PIL. And then more importantly, make sure you can do from PIL import capital I-M-A-G-E, hit enter. Okay, so as long as everything is working up to that point, then you've installed everything and you're ready to go to the next video. As always, thanks for watching.